Hey, guess what? Today I will guide you through save editing, or vault modifying, if you will, for Fallout Shelter on every device and platform. For both Windows and mobile, an app was created to dumb down the entire process. With this application, you can hack your vault with just some clicks of a button. Choose your device timestamp to see the magic. All links are in the description. To get started, visit our website and navigate to the Fallout page. Locate your device and tap on More Details. Just to let you know, if you are on Android Update 14 or above, you must root your Android device to access the files. This is because after Update 13, Android blocked users from being able to access their data folder, which is where your vault file is saved at, unfortunately. To install the app, you must first make sure the setting for unknown sources is toggled on. This allows you to download applications that are not provided by the Google Play Store. Next, you will have to tap on the download button, which includes a task. Complete the tasks to unlock the download, and through ads, this is your way of supporting our content. Most tasks are super simple and can be clicked on and off to unlock it. Please do not download anything from here, as I am not responsible for damages. After unlocking, click to proceed to Mediafire, where you can download the Save Editor app. You can install the application by opening it from the search engine pop-up, or you can open it by tapping on the download notification. However, in some cases, you may lose sight of the download. So for my example, I will use a file manager like Z-Archiver to locate where the app was downloaded. In my case, it's in the Downloads folder. Once you find it, tap it and install it. I know this description sounds sketchy, but the app modifies your vault file which triggers this permission. All it can do is edit your vault. Tap on Install and open the app from here or your home page. Before you go crazy, it's a smart idea to create a backup for your vault. Do this by selecting the vault. After opening a vault, you can basically figure the rest out for yourself. If you can't, you should not be using this. Once you are done, don't forget to make sure you save the vault. And just so you know, it won't hurt to click Save multiple times. And just like that, you became a huge cheater and now can load the game up. Enjoy! All links are in the description. To get started, visit our website and navigate to the Fallout page. Locate your device and tap on More Details. If you are using the Save Editor app, it may not work due to Microsoft.net not being installed. The app requires it to run properly. Here you can download the official files needed. However, if you are using the website version of the Save Editor, there is no downloads required. The web version of the Vault Editor stays up to date and requires nothing, except locating your Vault file on your computer, and this depends on what platform you downloaded Fallout Shelter on. Here is a list showing where your save could be stored. But, assuming you are here for the App version of the Vault Editor, click here to get the link. Complete the tasks to unlock the download, and through ads, this is your way of supporting our content. Most tasks are super simple and can be clicked on and off to unlock it. Please do not download anything from here, as I am not responsible for damages. After unlocking, click to proceed to Mediafire, where you can download the Save Editor app. Again, I am not responsible for damages, especially when you won't follow rules. After downloading, locate the zip file and extract it. Inside, you will find the application. If it won't start up, you need Microsoft.NET install. On the app, you can open your vaults according to what platform they are on. 
After opening a vault you can basically figure the rest out for yourself, if you can't, you should not be using this. If you are interested in a complete layout, you can download one from the website or description and import it using this application. This includes every room, fully upgraded, from top to bottom. Once you are done, don't forget to make sure you save the vault, and just so you know, it won't hurt to click Save multiple times. And just like that, you became a huge cheater and now can load the game up. Enjoy! All links are in the description. To get started, visit our website and navigate to the Fallout page. Locate your device and tap on More Details. For people with jailbroken devices, use a file manager to extract your vault file. From there, move it from your iOS device to your computer. We assume if you are smart enough to jailbreak your device, you should be able to figure this out without a huge, detailed guide. If you are not jailbroken and still interested in this method, follow the jailbreak guide. Note that this is for advanced iOS users. If you do not know what you are doing, please stay away from this method. The next best thing is downloading a modified version of Fallout Shelter for iOS users who are not jailbroken. This is done through what's called sideloading, which involves downloading and installing apps from a third-party source rather than the manufacturer's official app store. For this method, there are a few things you will have to download and set up. No worries though, I will walk you through everything. To get started, uninstall the App Store version of iTunes and download the web version from here. To find your system type, open the properties of your computer or go to Settings. My operating system is 64-bit. Should be self-explanatory, I have to download 64-bit applications. While you wait for iTunes to download, you can go ahead and download Sideloadly from the website as well. And while that is downloading, proceed to the next tab where you will download the mod and set up an account to access it. Complete the tasks to unlock the download, and through ads, this is your way of supporting our content. Most tasks are super simple and can be clicked on and off to unlock it. Please do not download anything from here, as I am not responsible for damages. After unlocking, click to proceed to Mediafire. Here you can download the Fallout Shelter modded IPA. Again, I am not responsible for damages, especially when you won't follow rules. Now you can register with iOS Gods and make the account. Unfortunately, this is required to run the modded game, as they are the ones who created it. I already have an account, so no need to go through this. Next, you have to install iTunes and Sideloadly. After installations are complete, run iTunes to get a connection from your device to Sideloadly. On iTunes, sign into your Apple ID and connect a USB cable to your iOS device. Prompts on your device as well as on iTunes will pop up, so make sure you accept all of them. From here, you can close out of iTunes and open up Sideloadly. Your device should automatically connect due to your iTunes account being signed in. However, if you are having issues, our Discord server is a great place to communicate them. Simply drag and drop the IPA file onto Sideloadly. From there, you can click Start to begin installation of the modded Fallout Shelter. New users will be asked to sign into their Apple ID account on Sideloadly to allow the installation. Once installation is complete, you will notice the game does not work just yet. Go to your Settings app and navigate to Device Management. Here you can click to trust the source, which in most cases will be your Apple account email. 
Trusting the source is the last step before launching the game, except for people who are on iOS 16 or above. If you are, you have to enable developer mode on your device. This option can be found and enabled at the bottom section of your privacy and security settings. Enabling it requires you to restart your device, and after restarting, it will ask again if you want to turn on developer mode. Now you are ready to launch the game, and please remember that this requires an account through iOS Gods, and it contains periodic ads. You also cannot cloud save the vaults, but hey, it works, does it not?